Hi there, Chris the Geek Figure Fan here, and today we're delving back into the Star Wars Black series with a look at the Death Watch Mandalorian figure. Today we're going to be doing things slightly differently, because helping me with this review is one of my co-hosts on the Nerdy Nostalgia Presents podcast, Cardboard Colin. There's no one I know that knows more about Star Wars, and especially Star Wars figure collecting, than Colin does. So thanks so much to Colin for supplying this figure, and for helping me with this review. So we'll start by taking a look at what the box looks like. I'm going to let Colin give his thoughts on the box, and then we'll get the figure out on display, get him in a couple of different poses, and see what he looks like. So this figure is the Death Watch Mandalorian. Basically, it's part of the Mandalorian Wave of Black series. It came out in April 2022. I think it was Wave 33, and it's just an absolute beauty of a figure. A little bit of information about it. I mean, the packaging was lovely. Like all of it was part of the redesign. It had the window. So, classic look. I'm uh, very happy with the art on that. Obviously, I'm not a... Uh, I'm an unboxer. So, I like to see my uh, toys and play with them. But it's a great figure. And just to follow on from what Colin said, let's take a quick look at the artwork that they've put on this box. So with a lot of the Hasbro 6-inch figures, they really do put some fantastic artwork on these figures. I mean, that's across all of their ranges, not just with the Star Wars Black series or even the Adventure series figures that I've been reviewing. On the sides, there always seems to be an attempt to put a really stylized artist rendition of the figure on there. And what that really does just gives you that option to stack your figure sideways and you can see a fantastic cool image. Whilst that might also help to sell the figure, it just adds a little something if you're displaying it boxed or even if you've got it out of box and you're using these boxes at the back as kind of a background to your display. Moving to the back, again, you can see a great almost pencil drawing of the figure on the back. I think might be my favourite piece of art on the entire box. On the back, there's also a brief description of the figure. So it says that they're an extremist clan that attempted to take over Mandalore during the Clone Wars. The Death Watch Mandalorians are tenacious warriors embracing the ancient traditions of their people. So we've seen these most recently in the Mandalorian. But anyone who's a fan of the Clone Wars will already know the Death Watch Mandalorians and what they bring to the Star Wars universe. So now we've got the figure out on display and we can get a proper look at what this figure looks like. I mean, what jumps out at me is the colouring. It's such bright blues against muted greys. It really stands out. It, 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 it's not a colour scheme that I'm used to in my slightly more limited knowledge of, of Star Wars lore, but I think it's really effective. It's more difficult for me to talk about head sculpts on figures like this, but you can get a good look at that head there. The helmet looks fantastic exactly what you'd expect from a Mandalorian figure. But really, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll hand over to Colin so he can give a more in-depth overview of what this figure looks like out of the box. I've got quite a few Mandalorian-style type figures in the Black Sears range. Obviously, you've got Boba Fett the King. You know, everyone loves Boba Fett. But I've got to say, this is probably my favourite Mandalorian figure. And it's just beautiful. It's a lovely colour, the beautiful blue. It's just, I don't know, it looks so good when you pose him. He's just, he stands up really well. I don't know, he's just got an elegance to him, fantastic proportions. Everything about the figure is just brilliant. And it's very excellent. The scope moves up and down, the black pack comes off, the thrusters, the little rocket bits on, on the backpack can move a ball so you can adjust those. He comes with a pistol, he comes with a, a big blaster. He's just excellent. Very, very good figure. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this figure. I, he, he's just one you can look at, but he really stands out. He's one of the best, like I say, a lot of the other Mandalorian figures I've got. I've got the Loyalist, I've got all of Bo-Katan's gang, pretty much all the Mandalorian type figures. This one is my favourite. I've also got the Death Watch helmet, which uh, is pretty cool. The actual Death Watch Mandalorians, you know, quite heavily featured in the Mandalorian, so you all know who they are. So there we have it, a glowing review from the Star Wars aficionado, uh, and I can't really argue. I think it's a cracking figure. Generally, I, I mean, from my experience, I think Mandalorians in general make good figures. The way that they're built, the armour that they have, the helmet, the accessories, everything lends itself to being a really striking six-inch figure. And it's really well illustrated with this Death Watch Mandalorian. So before you go, 
Instead of my usual spiel to ask you to subscribe to my channel, I want you instead consider subscribing to the Nerdy Nostalgia Presents podcast that I present with Colin and our other friend Paul. And it's a weekly podcast where we talk all manner of geeky things, toys, movies, TV, comics. We do reviews, pitches for new franchises and listings. It's a really good fun time. And also go out and check the Nerdy Nostalgia Presents website where you can see all of Cardboard Colin's incredible artwork as well. You may even see him in person at a local con near you. But that's it from me. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. And thanks to Colin as well for coming along, supplying this figure and giving us his really interesting views on it as well. Take care now. Bye bye.